Hello and welcome. We are heading over to Kickstarter today to take a look at a game called Cubifactorium. This is a, a, a colony builder with a, I guess it's a blending of something like Stone Hearth, maybe Nemoria, with something like Factorio, where we're going to be building, building a colony. We've got a bunch of folks charging out, you know, chopping trees down and harvesting stone, building buildings and workshops and, and farms and all of that. But eventually getting to the point where we'll have automation, having conveyor belts and trains hauling all these, uh, the supplies around and having a, an automated uh, town here is the idea. So it's on Kickstarter. It's only been there for a couple of days. There is a demo, however, that we can try out. There's a there's a train you can see there, uh, and uh, we're gonna go do that. So over here on their on their itch page is the uh, the demo. So let's go and try it out. If I push the right button, there we go. All right, so here is the demo of Cube Factorium. And let's jump in here and try the thing out. We do have a tutorial we can go through, which I have already done. We're going to go into a basic map here and choose a... Let's go with a, uh, a big map. We will go with enemy camps on the island. We want basic resources. Stranded colonists, sure. Uh, we want uh, no tutorial for that. We're good. I've seen, I've seen the huge map. It's uh, It just takes a while to load, so we'll do stick with a big one here. Actually, let's go with normal, so make sure we can see everything that's out there. Um, and start it up. Okay. So yeah, it has that, um, what's the, what's the name of the design style? The, the, the blocky, stone hearth, stone hearthy, you know, uh, design style. Anyway, here's my folks. And this right here, this, this may look like a truck, but it's not. It's a boat. It's a boat in the water, and we have all kinds of supplies on the boat. So we're going to tell my slobs to get to work unloading all the things we have on our boat. Look, there's a bird floating by at the moment. And we're going to go and get to work doing things like building stuff. Uh, you can see by, by having these materials, it's unlocking new things. Like, we can now know how to make a torch because we've hauled out a log. Uh, there's trees and rocks and all that stuff around here. Let's go ahead and set up a bonfire first off. Now, the bonfires are kind of cool. Basically, what they do is they increase our settlement range. We have these pylons out here. And once that gets built, it'll increase the range. And we'll see here in just a second. Um, the thing about them, though, however, is we can actually change the color of these things. So when we go into our colonist menu, very Worm World Dwarf Therapist style, and selecting jobs for everybody, uh, we can actually tell them what zone we want them to be in. So Nan Nantwin, I want you to only be in the yellow zone. Then it'll do that. Or you can be in every zone. So that's kind of the way of, of separating, segregating zones, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and turn everyone on. Everyone's good things. You can see the boxes. Bigger the box, better they are. And uh, get him everyone to work. People do have feelings here. We got Nantwin. Can I see you, buddy? Nantwin over here is uh, he's, he's got he's got food, drink, uh, housing. Well, he actually doesn't have housing, but he still thinks he does. But I guess with his truck here and some social needs, and he has his job assignments, workshop assignments, and what zones he can be in. He can also carry equipment, which we can make here in just a moment. But first, we need to get out exploring. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get another bonfire out here to expand our territory up something like that we'll put one over here as well and let's get everyone to work clearing this stuff out we're gonna build our colony over here not on the tiny island but over here on the large island and they will get to work harvesting all the things chopping all the trees down and uh, taking all these loot boxes we have laying around that's one of the settings I had set up what are you dead what's wrong Gizmara oh Gizmara is is either sleeping or blue Z's are erupting from her body for some reason now, we have stockpiles we can put out. So we got a bunch of wood coming in here. Let's go ahead and set our stockpile zones over this way. So we're going to do a big stockpile like that. And this is going to be holding rocks and wood. That's what that stockpile will have. And you can see they'll, they'll grab the stuff and toss it in the stockpile over here. What is that? Copper ore. Interesting. We've got a chest over here. What's in the chest, buddy? What's in the chest? There is, um, what is that? Copper blocks and water. Sure. Uh, yeah, speaking of water, actually, that's probably a good thing to be speaking of. We would like to have water around here. Where is my water at? Where is my water at? There it is. We need a well. So we're going to toss a well here, sort of in the middle of the colony. Now, the way all these workshops work, basically every workshop works this way, is we have to create a stockpile for the workshop. So we click on that, and we right-click. And that assigns that well to that stockpile. So every time someone comes over here and hauls a bucket of water out of the well, it'll get tossed into that stockpile. Same thing with the farms. We can come in, we can make a bunch of farms. We'll, th we'll throw them over here as well. We'll do a farm there. We'll do one there, and we'll do one there, and we can set a stockpile up. Actually, we can set up the same stockpile, I think. So everything will get hauled into that same stockpile, like that. Actually, I'm going to move this one to a different one, so then, so then it won't share with the, uh, with the food. 
Um, just that one. Not that one. There you go. All water will go over there. All of our food will get hauled into that one. I want you to be tomatoes. I want you to be wheat. And you to be strawberries. Okay, so whoever we have marked as the farmer, which is going to be Landegar and Gizbert, will run around and do some farming things in just a moment. We'll see them go and, and, and do that. Okay, okay. Uh, now, next up, I suppose, let's get some, let's keep these bonfires going, wherever they are, here we go, and make sure that we are continuing to expand our territory here, because I want to see what's going on out in the world, over there. Okay, and there's plenty more things to be chopping down, so we will remove anything in our way, because that's how we are, and, uh, see what we can find out here in the world. Any, oh, 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 there we go, there we go, we have a sheep, a neutral sheep named Lissy. She doesn't want to get involved in any sort of wars, there's a worm running around there as well. And uh, we can eventually recruit some of them. There's a turtle over here. The Lissy the turtle. Very common name in the animal kingdom. We have another pig over here. <laughs> Lissy the pig. Uh, very neutral. Yeah, it's like it's like Scott, I guess. Or Jim. What's a common name? Joe. Maybe it's Joe. <laughs> Joe Smith over there. Uh, the pig. All right, so some people are starting to farm. Some of them are slacking and not farming. I suppose we could have someone. Landigar is doing every job. So Landigar, I tell you what. How about you just go and farm, buddy? Get a better idea for you. Stockpiles are starting to fill up. We do need to get some workshops started up here, though. So we can go ahead and make a, if I can find the right thing, a basic workplace. So we're going to toss this thing down right there. And again, stockpile for it, which will go in right here. And then this is going to unload to there. I want you to make me boards and blocks. So whoever has the job to work so workbench will come and throw the things around. Another you know, dead guy gets turtles shaking and his turtle sides on him. Not very nice. I thought you were neutral. Let's put down another bonfire right over here. And that one's still waiting to be done, I believe. Which is why it's not expanding. Is it? Um, maybe not. Let's go ahead and throw one out there. Keep on expanding. Now, we we, uh, we did turn it on. So, we're going to have... We'll have hostile folks out here. We'll also have friendly folks that will come across. And... Oh, we have some right here. Look, there's people right here. These guys. Who are you? You are Gerald. Gerald is a neutral male colonist. A strong human being. Gerald, we can actually... Is this it? No, this is for the pigs. Once we harvest enough wheat, we can actually ask these pigs, Hey, look, we got wheat. Would you like to join us? And they will say, Oink, oink, which means yes in Lissy talk. And they'll come over here, and they'll be our pigs. And I don't know what it does for us. It actually doesn't really do anything, I don't think, in, in the tutorial. But eventually, it might it might do things for us. All right, yeah, get to work on the... It says the workshop is idle. Why is it idle? Is someone working it? Basic workplace. I want... Gizbert, that is going to be your job. You workshop, buddy. And get to work over there. And he should get to work doing that. Okay. Now we have this right over here. We can uh, we can actually carve this out. Mine and harvest. We want to go into here and start chopping away at the stuff and digging into it. And getting started there. There is a bit of a bug here in the demo which I have noticed. And that is, in order to unlock the ability to make... Um, well, the kiln isn't there yet. Why is the kiln unlocked yet? Um, maybe it'll show up here in just a second. But we'll get the kiln, but once we get the kiln, we can't make clay bricks. So we'll unlock that. We'll cheat and unlock some bricks so we can get some more buildings set up here. Unless it works. We'll, we'll see, I suppose. What do you guys want? You guys want me to harvest berries and get water. We have plenty of water brought in. But once I harvest some berries, you will gladly join me. Which uh, which is slowly happening, but uh, old uh, Gizbert or whoever it is is kind of slacking over here. Uh, we have unlocked a wooden board, a wooden... Oh, we've unlocked tables. So, yeah, we want tables because that will allow wherever it is. Where is it? There it is. Uh, when exhausted, settlers will sit on tables and relax and socialize. So, sure, sure. I'm not sure why I'm allowing my people to sit and socialize. That is the last thing we want to do. Acquiring brick. Oh, we did it. I played this game. I did two test games before this, and I never was able to find brick. Where was the brick at? Maybe... Oh, I bet it was in one of these chests. Yeah, I bet you. Okay. Good. So now we can come in here. We can make ourselves... No, we can't. Well, we can eventually make ourselves a kiln. Uh, but we've unlocked bakeries and breweries. Uh, decorative bushes and flower pots. I've not seen... I'm not getting any of this place, any of this stuff before. Because things are always not working for me. What do you need? There it is. Kiln has been unlocked. So let's make ourselves a kiln. We need to sort of grow. Let's grow this way. We'll stick a kiln right there. Which I don't believe actually needs a stockpile. It seems like it should, but I don't think it actually does. No. Uh, with this stockpile, I do want to have um, charcoal, because that's what you're going to make. You're going to take wood and make charcoal. Um, and then we're going to go in here and create... 
Ore smelter, if we want to take some blocks, which there's going to be some blocks in here, maybe some ore in there. Um, we can go ahead and get a little dark at, at night time here. Um, a bakery produces bread. We do have wheat, so we'll throw a bakery right over here. I think it's kind of clustered around here. Um, and we'll put a stockpile here of bakery things. Bread. That's what you call bakery things. Bread, by the way. Uh, a brewery. Sure, sure, sure. We want brewed, brewed things. We're going to throw it over here next to the kiln. And I'm assuming you're going to need a stockpile. Yep, for some beer. A little bit of beer and tea as well. Um, I don't know what beer comes from, but there is flowers around here that we can harvest. Which will give us the ability to make to make tea. I have almost harvested enough wheat to invite some pigs in. What do you people want? You people want more berries. And you want me to kill some green slimes. Alright, I will do that. Thorolf, Wilfrida, don't you worry. Next time I find a slime, I will destroy it. Oh, we can cross over the river here. Can I do that? Yeah, 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 let's do that. Um, I want to put in bonfire over... I guess we'll put it right there. And hopefully that'll give us enough space here. Let's put one over there. And we'll squeeze one in over on this side next to that cow over there. I'm assuming named Lissa. No, Berta. Cows, named, cows are named Berta. There's a sheep here. What's your name? <laughs> yes, Lissy the sheep. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Are the bees named Lissy as well? Look at all these pigs and sheep over here. Okay, okay. Alright, so well, eventually these things will get made, hopefully. The product selected. Oh, we want to make, we want to make, what do you make? You're made from wheat. Well, let's make some beer. Okay. And are they getting to work? Are you hauling that stuff over there? Yeah, yeah, uh, you're putting things in there. Uh, that's something, I guess. Um, you are making, I can tell you to make some tools as well. Sure, go ahead and do it. Make everything, why not? Um, this one is full of... Bread. Oh, full of bread already? How'd that happen? Bakery's not even done yet. You already made all the bread? I guess we found it laying around. Alright. Uh, how's everyone feeling? Uh, hey there, Landigar. How do you feel, buddy? You don't have a house. You're whining about a house. Yeah, it is kind of strange. I don't have a place, uh, a house for you. Can I build a house? Not very exciting, but it's nice to look at. Decorative shrines. Illuminates the surrounding area. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Make one of those. Okay, do I have any berries for you guys yet? No, we still have just the one berry. Maybe we need another farmer. Let's get Gizbert. I know you're busy, but but can you help me farm a little bit, buddy? Just a little bit. There's the brewery, which is being worked by Gizmara, uh, who's also working the well, and then we've got bakery being worked. So everything should be getting made. There's a kiln that is now, com now complete, finally. So it should haul some charcoal into it. We're still waiting for the brewery to get done. Which I guess we'll need another one, and the bakery, of course. And they'll get done eventually. We need more people, though. And that's a lot of... I've got a, Oh, those are tomatoes. Those are berries. You know what? I may need a bigger stockpile. That's the problem. I've got berries. Hey, hey, hey. Berries? I have four berries. You want, you want me to kill? You uh, want me to get more wheat? All right, all right, all right. You sure are needy. You sure are asking a lot. Uh, flower pots. No, I would like to get another bonfire right over here. So I was reading some of the things about the uh, the plants, and obviously, of course, I mentioned the uh, the automation. None of that is in the game just yet. Right? Being able to build tracks, which you can see the menu down here, train tracks, stations, and depots, so we can have you know a whole automation system running. And I thought that's sort of the main focus of the game. It uh, it appears and how it's going to set itself apart from something like you know towns or stone hearth or whatever. Um, also, multiple biomes is also something that's been mentioned in there, where they plan on having, well, multiple biomes. And um, that's all I mostly saw, but I think mostly the, the focus is on the, the automation. And um, I think it could be rather interesting. Can I expand this stockpile to be a little bit more? What if I change you? Go over there. What if I change you? No, uh, you're not going over there anymore. No, forget that. Forget it. Forget it. I want you to go somewhere else. I want you to go build your stockpile over here. You go over there. Cancel that one. Yeah, none of that. Okay, so you don't hold bread anymore. You just hold berries. Correct? Yes, berries. Okay, so someone should come haul that stuff around. Okay, and we're hoping, we're still hoping our brewery gets done. Things get made. If we want to cheat, we can, which we are going to do right now, actually. 
Because I want to see the metal workshop. Mm -hmm. Let's unlock... Where is the brewery at? Brewery. I think it builds it instantly, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, brewery, you make tea and throw it into there. So somebody should come over here and grab. There's some. There's some harvested flowers which we can turn into tea for our people. That's cheap. Oh, I, thought, <laughs> I thought it was laying face down. There's a turtle. Uh, we've expanded. We we see more beach. All right, more bonfires to expand out this way. I would like to find. I want to find some enemies in all my test games. I never found any hostile tribes. That's what I want to see. I want to see someone to kill. Other than slimes, which I haven't seen that yet either. More berries, right? And, uh, oh, we've got this one met, so we can bring the pigs in. Pigs, come, Lissy. Well, all you Lissies, come on in here. Not you, Lissies. All you Lissies. Hey, here's a slime. I want everybody to kill that. You got it? Come on over here. Everybody, I don't know who's in the army. Or if I select someone to come be in the army. Are you coming over here? I've not tried the combat yet. So we'll see if people actually are going to walk over here and try to kill this slime. Is that what you're doing, buddy? You're going to do the bonfire. Are you going to kill this slime for me? You. You. I can actually click you, I think. Come here. Come here. Come here. What? Come here. There's a slime over here. I need you to kill. Use your uh, your hammer. Oh, I can just explore with you. Where's that slime at? Where'd he go? There he is. Get him. Why are you just looking at him? Get him. Fine. Let's explore. I'm looking for an enemy. There's an enemy around here somewhere. What is he? Beside that slime that we're not attacking. What can we explore over this way? There's more sheep. Is your name Lissy? I'm sure it is. Someone over here is sleeping. What is that? A pile of rocks. Well, well, maybe there isn't any enemies out here. They're supposed to be, but maybe they're not in here. That, who knows where they are? I mean, they could be on this other island over here, I suppose. This is actually a pretty big map. Oh, did you get him? Did you get him? Yeah, we did. We, did. we got the, the slime. Nice. A, a, a gl glibbery foe. Did you kill it? He's sleeping. He's not dead. He just walked over and knocked him out. You want something done right? I'll tell you what. All right, well, this one is... F oh, that, that one's still not done. But this one is done. No tea is being made. But is anyone actually working the brewery? I have all these pigs in here now. Brewery. Uh, yeah, Gizmara should be. Okay, okay. We have harvested all of our berries. So come along, Gerald and, uh, and Erdmuth. Welcome to the colony. Need to kill another slime for you guys, and then you will join me. And uh, we can do some more exploring this way if we wish. Or we can just go build some bonfires. Over like that. And I believe we've basically hit everything that we can in the game. There's no, there's no structures just yet. I'm not sure what's planned for that either. Flower pot, sure. Um... Obviously, we don't have any housing or anything like that, and that's that's a need by our people. So obviously, it's going to be something that's coming along. Um, everything else is met. Social is not met, but they're going to go ahead and sit on the table, I guess, and chat, and that's where they get their social needs up. Um, you have workshops set up, and, and yeah, Erdmuth has dot what? What happened? What happened? What? Erdmuth. The slime killed you. Get that slime. Get that blinky slime. I don't know what just happened. Erdmuth. Erdmuth, you're so new and I didn't even get to meet you. We killed both the slimes so we can replace Erdmuth, however, with Ilfreda and Thorolf. Oh, well, I did it. Well, maybe we can recruit him if it wasn't a, uh, a bit of a broken demo. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we'll probably investigate just about all we can. The only thing we didn't get done is the metal smelter. Maybe we should do that real quick. Just in case it's something really cool. Uh, we want the ore smelter. We'll throw it down right over here. Let's put a stockpile in. This might unlock more things, actually. This might be what we need. Uh, let me go ahead and get some... Uh, some of the, well, that's supposed to be set anyways. We're slowly harvesting all this stuff. It's just taking a long time because there's not enough of us. And no matter how many slimes we kill, we can't bring people in here. Yeah. 
Hey, what are you doing? Why are you walking? Why are you carrying bricks like that over here? Come here. Looks like this is the end of the island, I think. So yeah, looks like we have no hostile folks. I thought I had it turned on. Maybe not. Okay, so we've explored our entire tiny island. There's got to be more. What if you just walk out here in the water? Oh, there's the edge. Is this the edge? Let's go this way. Got to be more. What do you do? Oh, the pig is hauling water? Look at that. I'm sorry I called you worthless pig. Lissy. I'm sure you're a very valuable... You're now a valued member of society. Walking around carrying water bottles. Or smelter, I want you to make me um, copper blocks. Let's see what that does. We can we can do this the easy way. Let's go in here. Let's just spawn up a um, iron ore. Sure. Oh, whoops. That just put it into the wall. I want to spawn a. Cargo ship. Um, let's spawn. Woodlock. No, 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 no. You can see everything in the game. This is this is a train statue. There's spiders in the game? Oh, yeah? Okay, okay. Uh, we want to look at... Can I just put out copper? No, that puts it, like, in the wall. I may be missing it. This is very... Weed? What is that? Like, like, weeds, right? With, like, an S. Um, uh, yeah, I think we got everything in here. I believe gold block. There we go. We've seen those before. We've 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 had those. That that's not what we want. Uh, machine parts. What do you do? I don't know. Does having tea unlock anything? No. Mines clay. We've seen that before. Um, iron block it unlocks the metal workshop, so we can now make the metal workshop, which we can do. The easy way. Just real quick, just to explore the, the thing here. Like that. Which now makes me make iron armor, iron hammers and swords. Ah, okay, okay. And machine parts. Which, I'm assuming machine parts then leads to automation. Which we were put one out. We didn't get anything new from it, so we know what that does. That does nothing for us. But anyway, this is a good place to call it today. So thanks again for watching. Again, this is Cube Factorium. This game is available on... Uh, we can check out the Kickstarter at the moment going on. And the demo is available on their Itch page. It's on the Kickstarter page, too. You can find a link there. But I'll have links to both below. And thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time.